It's a long walk to class for Zane Burney at VI Montessori School and International Academy. But there's no hill too high, no path too tough, and no stairs too steep to slow Zane and his seen eye dog, Hallie. In fact, there's not much that slows Zane down at all, even though he's been legally blind his entire life. I do have a little bit of vision, but uh, not enough to uh, read certain things and not enough to uh, really get around by myself as well as I should be able to. Which is why last summer, Zane spent a month in Ohio training with Hallie to gain his independence. She helped Zane navigate throughout school and hilly St. Thomas. It gets easy after a while. It's just a hard thing sometimes can be uh, Hallie's willingness to walk up the hill. And it goes for anyone. Perhaps the biggest help Hallie has to offer is right here in class. With Hallie, Zane can focus more on learning and stay close to his computer that has a screen reader program. The JAWS program will actually read what's on the screen to me, uh, whether that be documents that I may have written or emails or stuff like that. He has a fantastic attitude and he, um, he does everything that all the rest of the students do here at the school. He goes to all the same classes, uh, he uses all the same walkways, all the same steps. He's a, he's a really, really well-rounded kid, um, which you wouldn't know. Uh, that he had these challenges unless you spent some time with him. Zane says that having Hallie has made a life-changing difference in his world, but he's found there are still some hurdles with having a seeing eye dog. The biggest challenge I've had is some people are afraid of a dog, and to them I say there's no reason to be afraid. Uh, she's a very sweet dog, one of the best breeds. She's man's best friend, Zane's companion and protector. Alison Bornfinek, News 2.